sunburn. Doesn't actually look as bad. Oh, it does look quite bad on air. Yeah, look. Yeah. And it's only day two. The weather today doesn't look as good. Well, I say as good, it doesn't look nearly as good. It looks very misty all over there. Put myself and Fiona are now about to take a half an hour walk down there to a little place called Santa Monica. As I said, not the best weather, but still a little bit warm. I think it's gonna be like 18, 19. So I'm going for a jacket and shorts combo. Temperamental weather, we're kind of used to, aren't we? Being from England, so it's all good. You ready to go? Ready. Finally! I've won the I've won the lottery! I've never actually seen California like this. It's actually quite moody, isn't it? It's like really cloudy. Yeah. And not very warm. Cool. Like Santa Monica Piers over there in the background. Usually you can see it like anything. Can't see. It kind of looks misty. Yeah. Like it's, I don't know, 4 a.m. There's a plane, but you can't, can't see, see it. it. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. That'll be hotter later. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. I can't cross my fingers very, very well. That's weird. Yeah, that's weird. Can you not do that? I know. I'm not sure. So we found a drag corn dog. Are you? Dog? Dog? Dog. D dog. Corn doggo. That's my favourite meme. Corn doggo. Doggo. They're not actually dogs, though, are they? No. Are they corn? No. What are they made of? Batter and hot dogs. It's a battered dog. So the reason that Fiona's so upset is because it's the second morning and we thought we'll do a longer walk today to get the same pancakes we had yesterday. So that's an hour and a half of me walking. And what's happened? The world's ended because IHOP's closed. The IHOP that we've walked to for an hour and a half, over three miles, is closed down. So we're going to have to start walking again and find We're going to have to go back to England. <laughs> Not to worry though, because we just jumped in an Uber and here we are at another IHOP. Two IHOPs in two days. Oh god, bloody tourist day. What the hell is that? The Splashberry, called a Splashberry. So it is, hold on a second. Strawberries, lemon lime soda, and orange juice. Ooh, and it's refillable. Look at your sunburn. Oh, is it anyone else? It looks like I'm just filming your boobs in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> it is French toast yeah. with glazed strawberries. White chocolate sauce and sweet cream. Wow. And I am the ever boring male. <laughs> I've got for exactly the same as I've had the last three days. There we go. But I do have some pancakes. No. They look like the most unappealing pancakes in the world. What, what is that? Look at it. That's the smallest blob of ice cream. That's not even a scoop. That's a dollop. That's a dollar. So we're in a pink berry. Mm -hmm. Fiona's never had one before. It's Look at these. It looks amazing. We'll film them outside so you can see them a bit better. Try I it. it was ice cream. Try it. It's yogurt. Mm. Try it. That is the weirdest ice cream I've ever tasted. Because it's not ice cream, it's yogurt. Yogurt. <laughs> is it good? Yeah. Hi, I'm Fiona. Welcome to um, my yogurt tour. So I got a bit of mango, a bit of blueberry, raspberry sprinkles, chocolate sprinkles, and white chocolate sprinkles. Good. Cheers. So the mist from this morning has cleared. We're back on Santa Monica Pier, almost. Got the pink berry frozen yogurt. Yogurt. And it's uh, it's pretty good. I've probably got it all around my mouth. It's a bit. Um, it's definitely not ice cream, is it? No. It de this sounds stupid, right? It really sounds stupid, but I didn't expect it to taste so much like yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd laugh at it's that. It's frozen yogurt, Fiona. I knew you'd laugh at that. Yeah, but I didn't expect ice to taste like water. It's crazy. Ice doesn't taste like water. Yes, it does. It's it is water. water. It's too cold to taste of anything. Makes no sense. Bubba Gump Shrimp Company. Ten points to anyone who can tell me the film reference. Do you know the film reference? Yeah, but... Shh, don't tell him. Santa Monica Pier now. This is the end of Route 66. Did you know that? Is it? Yeah. See it? Yeah, end of trail. Wow. The closest thing we have to a pier like this in England is probably... Brighton? Brighton, I think. Not Great Yarmouth. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Roma. It's, 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 yeah, Chroma. I actually like Chroma, don't they? I actually feel quite warm now, like on my shoulders. I'm regretting not putting sun cream on. The life of a ginger. So 
currently sat on Santa Monica Pier and just over there in the background is a, is a stall. There's a guy trying to make money by offering to put anybody's name on a single grain of rice, which obviously sounds quite impressive, but when you remember that your name's just four small letters long, <laughs> Jack. Even, even my full name, Jack Carl Dean. It's the, <laughs> it's the shortest name in the world. It's, it's still fairly impressive, but I mean, if my name was like Cristiano de la Souza or something, <laughs> then I'm getting my name on a bit of rice. But Jack Dean will give it a miss, I think. I'd have to get P. 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 Yeah, that would be. How you getting on with that? It's so good. Is it's it? It's melting so much. I didn't know yogurt could melt. That's Anything really? frozen can melt, even the ice caps, and that's the real tragedy. I'm trying to make that my catchphrase, by the way, and that's the real tragedy. Stop Just making to... that happen. And that's the real tragedy. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, and that's the real tragedy. Oh my god. We're on the edge of the pier and Fiona just saw some rocks sticking out of the water <laughs> and asked me if they were dolphins. <laughs> just static rocks just sitting there. She went, oh my god, they're dolphins. I thought they were whales breaching, okay? Whales what? Breaching. No. But they weren't. They were rocks. <laughs> they were rocks. Don't put that in the vlog. <laughs> what? Ready? Three, two, one. Alright, that'll do. So guys, I've just popped out of the hotel because I need to pop to the shop and get a few bits. Fiona's just having a nap. And one of the things that really strikes me about LA is how diverse it is. And what, and what I mean by that is they could easily be like a Kardashian and have millions and millions of dollars. And then the next thing you know, you'll see someone and they're carrying all their, everything they own around with them in a trolley, like just full of homeless people. It's so, so diverse. It's from one street to the next. It's, it's almost like rich, poor, rich, poor, rich. Some of the stuff people sprayed on there is mental. Look at that. That's all over the place, stuff like that. And that stuff in the background there, that's a bit Picasso, that. Mental. I've got to stop saying mental to things that really aren't that mental. A bit of paint on the walls. And another thing, guys, I don't know if it's just my experience or whether this is just the done thing in LA, but a lot of the homeless people, like the vast majority of the homeless people, they don't ask you for money. One homeless guy did come up to me and he asked for 50 cents, I think, I think it was, so he could buy a beer. So I gave him two dollars. He went and bought the beer. Then I couldn't believe it. He came back over and went, sir, there's your change. And I was like, oh no, no, you can keep that. And then he said, he said, no, I only take as much as I need which I thought was very admirable. And another thing that I've noticed, everything's 24 hours. An ice cream shop, 24 hours. Who needs ice cream at five in the morning? Oh, and one more thing, while we're on this hashtag relatable epilogue. I don't know how the roads work. I don't know when you when you should cross, when you shouldn't cross. I, it's, it confuses me. I've nearly died a number of times, especially when I'm vlogging. I shouldn't be vlogging. Anyway, I'm trying to find a shop so I can get something peanut butter. I don't care what it is. It's just got to be peanut butter, and America does peanut butter very, very well. Seven minutes, apparently. It's not too bad. Seven minutes. I like you, LA, but you do confuse me. I just came out of CVS, and I wanted to get about three or four things, and I went for the most American things I could find. So I went for peanut butter M&Ms, just because you don't have them M&Ms. <laughs> planes. Thanks. I went for peanut butter M&M's, I went for some bright blue Gatorade, I'm not sure what that's going to be like, and then I went for, I've heard a lot about it, but I've never experienced it, bacon jerky. All healthy, I think you'll find. I'm going to get that Californian bod in no time. Once I get back to the room, I'll let you guys know how, how that went. I think we can all agree it's not going to go well. I'm going to have a cardiac arrest. So just got back.
Finally, she has awoken. I went on a walk on my own. Did you? Yeah, look what I bought. I bought the most American things I could. I bought Gatorade, blue. It tastes like, um, you know when you used to get bubblegum ice pops? Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. You're gonna hate it. Well, I bought a big bag of these. This one you are absolutely gonna hate. I'm not even gonna tell you what it is. I'm just gonna throw it over there. What is it? Bacon jerky. There's bits of bacon in the back. Yeah, I was going to go beef jerky, but then I saw bacon and I thought, oh, that's rare. Are you going to try it? Yeah. Go on then. I'm surprised you're not grossed out. I've just woken up, so it'll be like bacon for breakfast. Gross. Your face speaks a thousand words. Now get up, get ready. I've booked a table for eight, all right? What? I've booked a table for eight at the steakhouse. In Santa Monica. Me and you, obviously. Who else do we know here? No one. Hurry up and wake up, Joe, and stop eating all the bacon jerky. You stop jerk. A jerk. You jerk. <laughs> Get it? Because jerky and jerk. It's American comedy. P.S. I just saw somebody going down the street on roller skates whilst playing a guitar. On roller skates whilst playing a guitar. It was like a f***ing Lumineers video.